This is a super interesting comment because they're right, right? AI has been a thing for a really long time, but what is AI? And that is the thing where I really dislike OpenAI and the CEO because they're now saying AI has to be built on other people's property. It has to be built on other people's intellectual property to go forward. That's just a flavor of what AI is today. One of the things I did in the, back in the, what, the 90s was I ran a company, um, we did data analysis and we did post payment processing is one of the things we did. And that is like if you're Office Max or something and you audit your books at the end of the year and you're like, okay, we think we're good. We figured out everything. You hand it to a set of auditors and you say, you have 10 days. Any mistake you find, you, we split with you 50-50 if we get money back. And so then the auditors and us would work together and comb through the data. And we would create fuzzy logic. That was AI back then, right? It's always something different. Every year, it's never been. In the 60s, they weren't like, well, what we need to do is we need to scan this big corpus of copywritten material and trademark material, and then we'll find out AI. It's always changed. It's always been different. It hasn't been the same for a thousand years, right? It changes all the time. And that's what drives me nuts about the current AI, because they act like, well, this is the only way. We have to. We have to steal all this stuff. We have to build on it. We have to take other artists' work, because it's the only way to build AI. But that hasn't always been that way. And it probably isn't going to be that way in the future. It, in a way, it can't be, because eventually then the AI would feed on AI and it would be just come a big mess. Right? Like, here, another example. At one point when I ran that company, we audited magazines. We audited magazines for one of the largest publishing companies of trade publications. So it was like Convenience Store Weekly. Really weird, dumb stuff, right? They're based in New York. And I remember we would have to go to New York sometimes because this one VP championed us. But everyone else is like, you got these two knuckleheads from Cleveland doing all of our data analysis and we own like a $35 million data analysis company. Why are these two knuckleheads doing it? And what they would do is they would take their data. And we were just because we were dirt cheap because we figured some secrets out. But one of the things was, just, let's say we're going to do the banking industry. This is where we really shine. We actually did banking industry for multiple different publications behind the scene. Never mix the data. We were always good about it. But uh, what would happen is they would have a bunch of mergers. And also banking is just really hard because banking is First National Bank of Toulouse, versus versus National Bank of Texas, and then Wachovia buys one of them, but not the other, and they're in the same mall, so they have the same address. Like, it is a complicated problem to figure out of like, are these duplicates or whatever, right? And so we would get called into these New York meetings. It's eight million records that we own, like eight million users, right? And they would point to one. If you've ever worked with data, you know that, that terrifying thing of when you're looking at, statistically, you are right. But individually, it gets a little, a little weird, right? So out of all those 8 million, if you point to one and you go justify why this is saying that it's the same as this record here, there's no way. And you go, well, here, the banks merged. Here's the federal documents that show it because we had figured out that there's this federal recording of it. And then we would bring that in. But now all of this, you can't use just those names because they're so confusing. So we would tokenize them and make them into unique names. That was considered... AI at the time. That was considered fuzzy logic, right? So when someone said the other day, I don't know what I'm talking about, dude, I've been doing this way before, right? Way back when it wasn't this. This is new, right? And this is an interesting way. But this wasn't the only way, right? And like, I lived off of doing it the other way for a really long time, right? And these people just thought it was magic. But it was also a horrible job because you're sitting in a room full of editors and you're closing their magazines down because you're showing that they puffed up their numbers. Oh, God. It was horrible. Except, except my favorite were talking to Convenience Store Weekly. Uh, and again, well, he's, Eric we used to just bail and be like, you should fire us, we're the worst company, because he just hated the, he hated the pressure of all of this. But Convenience Store Weekly, and they would have these mergers, and sometimes it would just temporarily slam some names together. So like you might have like Quality Foods, and then Sheets buys them. And they call them Sheets Quality Foods, and then they you know, eventually get signs up, but for a period, they're, they're some that middle name of both. And Bilo went around buying a bunch of things for a while and they bought quality foods. They made it into buy low quality foods. <laughs> I, uh, I couldn't stop laughing at that one. That was good. I, I actually shared that as a joke, trying to, trying to uh, lighten the mood in that, that meeting, uh, and it wasn't, wasn't good. I think all those magazines are shut down now because just no one needs them. I don't know, but 
just to point out that AI has been something other than what this current AI is, and it's not inevitable that it's built on trademark or copywritten material. That is not what AI has been until recently. That is a recent wrinkle. And now they're trying to jumpstart and kickstart and say, well, we have to do this because AI is the future because we've talked about it for hundreds of years, but it's not, right? It's just this version of it. Wait, you'll see, somebody will come out with something else. And in the meanwhile, they'll have trashed a bunch of stuff, they'll have marginalized a bunch of things and made a bunch of stuff crap. Yay. But I bet you they don't name something as good as buy low quality foods. <laughs>